Just wanted to notify you all that it is things are going to be looking a little bit different for the next few episodes. So make sure you stay tuned just to what's in store for these episodes. I'm going to get back to sleep now because, yeah. So I will catch up with all of you Islanders later on when I'm ready. So when I am ready, I will be taking you all with me. <coughs> and we'll see what we can get up to. But just for now, we will be... Here, so um, I'll catch up with all you islanders later. Keep it easy, and I'll talk to you all later. Okay, and now we are coming across uncharted territory around here. In fact, if you can see right there. There's where the sealed roads are. Flinders Street right here. I think we just went across Flinders Street right there. And they finally have a paved road here. <laughs> Yes, well that's, oysters, well there's, food. there's oysters at the boat yeah. ramp, we've all been on the boat ramp, there was oysters over at Sandy Beach too on those rocks. In my new series, I Life Postcards, which is a monthly series if any of you Islanders wanted to check it out. Number 99 on the surfboard. Still building new houses around here too. So if you look in front right there, there's more of the road. In fact, if you have a look there, there it is. Breakfast. Oh, there's those 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 birds there. And he could, that, of course, you know the character who calls them breakfast all the time. Him. And right down there is this boat ramp. So here it is everyone, this is the one of the two boat ramps, this is the public boat launching ramp, this one right here is the Oysters boat ramp as I call it, so I call this the Oysters boat ramp, and there are oysters here, and if you look over there in the distance right there, there's an Aboriginal flag right up on there. Yeah. No one. no one. But I am going to take a look at the oysters real quick. Oh uh, yes, if you have a look over here, the oysters, well, all, almost all of them are underwater. I mean, the water's gone out quite a fair bit, but 
There are oysters there. I'll show you again. There. There's the oysters. And there's the oysters. They're not all of them are underwater though. There's quite a few of them that have washed ashore. And they're on they're visible just above the surface. Yeah. Look like the rain will be going away anytime soon. Right over here is the uh, territory that we have not covered yet in a previous episode, so I may as well get it now, get it over and done with. The Russell Island Sport and Recreation Park going past right now. That's, that's over here. Going right through here. How is the price of petrol here compared to the city? How does how, how does it compare price wise? Petrol. It's dearer than the city. Oh. It would have to be, wouldn't it? A lot dearer? 20 cents a litre. Yeah. There's the tennis courts. Yeah, tennis courts. Sports centre. This is where they hold their Sunday markets. Yeah, yeah. And this is also where the Russell Island Fishing Club is also located. What are the markets like? Just food? Oh, I haven't been. <laughs> Mainly craft markets. And here we are, we're coming up to another part of the park here. That's the Pioneer Children's Memorial Park on the left. There we go. And right down here, there's more. Look at these trees, they're massive. It's a big island, it's really big. Yeah. It's the biggest one out of the four. We've got the Russell Island Bowls Club and the Bay Islands Community yeah. Services. That's where the lawn bowls are, right there.
that's where it is, right here. There's a little playground for the kids too. More public toilets right here. And... Yeah, must be another modern house. So yes, yeah, there's there's another ibis bird there. There it is, the ibis bird. Oh, there's some curlews. You're killing your stupid bird. That's a that's a curlew. They're bushstone curlews. In fact, they're one of the birds that come by to to, to, the, to the place to the place that we're at. Yes, regardless of which street it is, there's houses all around. That's why the island is filled with them. That's why we've got such a big population here. And lots of land plots up for sale. Flying curlew. <laughs> How long have you lived here? He's lived here since May. Since May? Yeah. Oh, oh right. So he's like years and years so and years. He, so he's technically lived here for about three weeks longer than I have. <laughs> May. So yeah. nearly a year. Yes. So technically about 10 months. This episode of Island Life. Leave a like, follow, and I'll see you on this in the next episode. Goodbye.